Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Speed channel. So in Taiwan server, there is a practice that players have been talking about that they use to evolve their pet or upgrade the shadow equipment level. I let you know at the end of the video. But first, let's evolve my baby desert wolf white pet to desert wolf blue pet. Mind you, this is my third attempt trying to evolve this baby desert wolf pet. After failing so much time upgrading, refining, and enchanting equipment, I think I am already becoming numb to any unsuccessful outcome. But I'm still hopeful for this one. Alright, let's do it. Finally, it's a success. So what we're going to do for this video is to test the damage output after evolving the pad. How much it will affect the damage? Is it worth it? Now after evolving, the pad aptitude starts are changed. Previously, the aptitude is a raw number that will add to your stat after calling out the pad. After evolving, it changed to a percentage stat. So now I have 3% attack. 2.4% final damage bonus and 1.2% final penetration stat. Well, in general, all blue pad will have a percentage stat. So evolving your white pad, it will become a blue pad with a percentage stat. After evolving, the pad level is reset to level 1 and the pad stars are remain. I remember previously the pad star will also reset to 1 star or maybe I remember it wrongly. And also the pad skill will be reset. Previously I have one skill here but now it's gone. So if you are planning to evolve your pet, do not make her learn any skills. It will be gone once reset. Another thing I want to highlight here too is the pet unique skill. The pet unique skill is also changed. Previously the baby desert wolf pet has the wolf cry skill. Now the desert wolf pet has wolf howl skill. The previous skill decreases the normal final physical and magic damage reduction. The new one decreases the PvP final physical and magic damage reduction. The unique skill level is according to the patch star that it has. I see that I have enough fire scroll to get a new patch skill. Let's use it to get a new one. And I got the vital burn skill. According to the description, at level 1 skill, it will inflict burn status. Decrease 1.6% target maximum HP every 3 seconds for 15 seconds. So that means 5 times to a total of 5% total HP if you multiply that. Skill cooldown is 60 seconds, that is 1 minute. It's a long cooldown. Can't be stacked and can't be used on bosses. Alright, let's test this wolf. So for comparison, I'm going to test the damage with the wolf and without the wolf. First, I'm going to test the damage without the wolf, like usual on the dummy and for 60 seconds. And also on Frioni for the last test, just to let you see the test on monster other than dummy. That is 60 seconds, the damage is around 421k. Now I had recorded a test damage with the baby desert wolf pad before evolution to see the damage increase. So I will include that test as well. This is the damage test before evolution using the baby desert wolf pad.
that is 60 seconds, the damage is 470k. That is an increase of around 12% damage. Now let's test the damage after the evolution. Oh, apparently the wolf skill activated and there are additional burn effects. I want to get a clean damage without the burn effect. I will do another test without the burn effect skill activated. Let's go on with this one. That is 60 seconds, the damage is around 429k. That is surprising. That is like only a little damage increase from not having pet at all. The previous pet damage before evolution was higher. Or maybe because of the pet level. Now it was reset to level 1, and the pet aptitude may have been lower than before. Alright. So let's increase the pet level and test it again. Now you can only interact with your pet 10 times a day to increase the EXP. Petting your pet will only increase a little bit of EXP. So I usually buy the pet frisbee item in pet shops so it get more EXP. But for today, I think I'm going to give more EXP to the pet. I'm going to give him the livestock go item. I remember I have a lot of pet interaction box that I got from the event that I haven't opened it yet. So I'm going to use that instead of buying the materials from the pet shop. I actually have a lot of boxes that I got from the event that I I haven't opened it yet. I just don't know what to get from it. Opening them will take up the storage space, so I just pile them up. Let's get all the livestock go from the pet interaction box. I don't know how much I need, so I just use all of them. I see I also have pet scroll scroll box. Let's take the fire scroll to get more pet skills. Alright, now that I have the materials, let's use it to increase the pet level. I managed to increase it to level 6. The pet aptitude now is also increased. The attack is increased to 5% from 3%. That is actually a lot, considering the pet is only level 6 at the moment. I also have fire scroll now from the box, so let's unlock a new pet skill. Unlocking the pet skill is according to your pet star. The second pet skill can be unlocked at 3 stars. The next one will be at 5 stars and so on. Alright, let's get a new skill. Okay, I already have this skill before. It just increased the pet resistance to fire element from monster only. So it's not very useful. I still have enough scroll to refine it and get a new skill. Now refining skill will increase the skill level, but you will get a different skill. Just like enchanting. After refining, the skill level is increased, but I got a different skill. The magic burn skill. Decrease 2% of the target SP. 2% because it's level 2 skill. So now I have HP burn and also SP burn skill. Looks like this pet is suitable to be used in PvP. Alright, let's test the damage. I'm going to run the test with the burn effect first and after that without the burn effect.
nearly 60 seconds, the damage is around 507k. That is an increase of around 20% of damage. Now that is with the help of the burn effect. So let's test it without the burn effect. Since the burn effect skill from the past skill will activate every 60 seconds, I'm just going to test this with only 30 seconds. I'm going to let the test run. The burn effect will be activated. After 15 seconds, the burn effect will stop. And I'm going to refresh the timer. We will start counting from there. That is 30 seconds. The damage is around 531k. That is an increase of around 26% damage. Apparently, with the burn effect, it will deal lower damage. I'm not sure why is this happened, but overall, both tests have increased damage nonetheless. The last one, I'm going to test it on Frioni. So what do you think of evolving your pet? I would say it is totally worth it especially for PvP and MVP hunt. It will boost your damage by a lot at a minimum of 20% and it can go even higher as the pet level increases. Alright, remember in the beginning of the video I mentioned about a practice that Taiwan players do? In Taiwan server, players will go to the bridge here at Izulut map. They call this bridge a sure success bridge. If you want to upgrade your shadow equipment level or evolve your pet, go to this bridge. They say the success rate will be higher. Well, I actually went here when trying to evolve the pet during the second attempt, but I failed. On the third try, I succeeded. So I don't know what to believe. It doesn't hurt to try. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It is free so you don't have to pay for it. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.